welcome back to Red to Ted Art Pokemon fans. If you're not a Pokemon fan, do keep watching because these booklets can easily be converted into emojis or kawaii or anything you'd like to make. They're really cute two colored booklets um, between with between six and 14 pages. So there's two different ways of making them. They are no glue, really simple to make. Um, however, I did use a little bit of glue whilst decorating. So if some of you are really specific about the title of this video, I do use a tiny bit of glue. But to be honest, the, the notebook itself is no glue and really, really cute to make. So come on, let's take a look and see how they're made. Right, to make your basic little uh, notebook, all you need is, is two sheets of paper of contrasting colour. Um, depending on how many pages you want, um, you can actually make several books out of one sheet. So in fact, you could make uh, four orange books out of one and four uh, seven page or six page um, booklets out of the white sheet. But let's start with the outside. So to start off, you're going to fold your piece of paper in half. Now some of you will I'm sure, no doubt ask, can you make these in bigger? Yes, you can. You just uh, have to make sure you adapt the dimensions. But this is the easiest way for um, an A4 sheet of paper. If your dimensions in your country aren't exactly A4, that's fine. Use the ones you've got, follow the instructions, and you'll just, just get a slightly different shape book bit. Next thing you'll do is, is you'll fold this in half and cut. So this is now one cover sheet. And like I say, you can use the extras again for some other projects um, and it's really easy. So to make your uh, cover, now you need to fold, actually I'm not gonna fold it all the way in half, I'm just gonna give a little marker here. This is, I wanna find my middle. And the reason is because I want to have a nice, neat front cover. I don't want to fold going across. So I've just given a little marker. I'm using that as a guide and I'm bringing the outside edge all the way to the middle. Turn it round, repeat, bring the outside edge all the way to the middle and make sure you've got a nice neat crease. This time I'm going to fold it in half that way. So bring the, that side over to meet the other side. Open up. Now this time I am not going to the centre, I'm going, check this, just about two millimetres from the centre. Do you see that? That's not quite to the centre. And this basically allows your pages to fit in a little bit neater. And also, if you're adding more pages to it, it will be, um, you know, allows for the bulk. So if you see, this is not quite to the centre. So this is your outside. Yay, they all match. Isn't that great? So I've got my outside ready. Now I need to get my pages ready. Again, you take your white sheet of paper, fold it in half. Fold it again. There we go, create a nice long uh, piece. Now, as I'm gonna cut this, I'm gonna cut just inside the white line. And that's because when this slides in, you don't actually want it to be exactly the same width. You want it to be slightly smaller so that it does fit inside your booklet. So I'm gonna cut slightly inside, not much, just about, about a millimetre. So it's going to be slightly, slightly smaller. Put this to the side. And now we need to fold it in a concertina fashion to fit in. Now to make this as neatly as possible, I've started off by just creating some guiding uh, folds. So I'm folding it in half. Not too, don't make this too, um, you know, the crease too strong because you're going to change it again in a minute. So I've kept folding it in half a few times. I'm going to unfold it now because I just wanted these creases. So the first one is you have to fold it in this direction. Now I'm going to do a concertina. Fold in that direction. Fold in this. Bring this fold over. Try and get them always lined up. And now get your creases nice and neat. So it should look like this. Okay, so it's a concertina look. Tuck it in. And then 
take the other side and again you see these these folds you can tuck it in now that is your basic booklet finished isn't that neat now that's obviously only got six pages so if you want to add more pages what I've done on the yellow one is you literally repeat that last step so you've got another concertina and then you take one page tuck it in <laughs> make sure it fits here we go I think that fits <laughs> she says and then give it a good crease and that will actually stay so if it bothers you you can glue this together uh, but I know some of you will go but you said this is a no glue graft it's no glue if you leave it like this that's fine but if you want you can of course glue the center ones together but to be honest I don't think it's necessary and that is <laughs> very easy two colored mini notebooks now I think they're really really cute now as lots of you love Pokemon I know that some of you would like me to maybe decorate them. Now I'm going to decorate them using um, paper, pens and um, a little bit of glue. And again, those of you who said this is a no glue project, you're quite right, it is a no glue project. You can just use pens on the front, that's fine. I just love the extra detail that you get from using white paper and sticking it on. You don't have to do that, just color it in. Don't worry about it. These are no glue notebooks and I think they're really, really cute. So I'm gonna speed the video up for this, um, just sort of <laughs> because it'll take ages otherwise. Um, and you can watch me decorate these and turn them into adorable Pokemon notebooks, okay? finished aren't they adorable I think they're absolutely wonderful now of course you can decorate these booklets in any sort of way that you want we just chose to do Pokemon today but if you look down below in the i cards and in the sort of end cards and all that kind of stuff I've got an emoji version and I've got some kawaii versions so they're really really cute really simple to do now don't forget there's also a set of bookmarks to go with this loads of you to explore on the channel add this to your playlist like comment and of course subscribe because we'd love to see you here again soon. Take care. Bye.